Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics and so I hope that you're all having a really wonderful day thus far. And so in this video we will be talking about a lot of activity that is expected across sections of the Eastern Caribbean that will be impacting the various islands in the region. And so uh, there is also Depression Lisa which is still a concern for Mexico and so we'll be talking about that as well. But of course the main focus is going to be on the Caribbean and all the increased rainfall that is expected along with the possible flooding and so before I go into details please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update and to show support for the channel you can leave a like on this video okay and so let's go ahead and kickstart things with a satellite imagery of lisa and so there we have the depression uh over the bay of campeche so the center has emerged over the bay of campeche and uh the system is uh producing quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity and so this system is going to be loitering around but it is going to be a problem for mexico in terms of all that heavy rainfall that is possible so while loitering around it is likely to bring all that heavy rainfall inland and that can result in flooding across flood prone areas so lisa still remains a threat in terms of the possible flooding so guys if you're in portions of southeastern mexico please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe but as we look at a, a wider view of the caribbean we see here that there is some more activity going on across some areas such as the south caribbean we see some activity taking place uh some activity movement inland into nicaragua also portions of panama colombia and venezuela so those areas uh, are are experiencing some shower and thunderstorm activity right now and then our attention is drawn to the eastern caribbean where we have all of that developing shower and thunderstorm activity so that is what is going to be a cause for concern as we progress into the next uh day next two days or so and uh this system here all of this developing shower and thunderstorm activity is going to be affecting the northeastern caribbean which is inclusive of uh, puerto rico the virgin islands and the leeward islands and on satellite we can see uh, where all of this activity is already making its way into sections of the eastern Caribbean bringing along with it some showers and thunderstorms so all of that inclement weather has begun for some areas and if you're in portions of the Lesser Antilles you can let me know what's going on there but of course uh, while we're going to be heading into the next two days or so this is going to be a concern and so that is in association with something else expected to develop and so let's move on to the energy NHC's five-day outlook and so we're seeing here that we have these two highlighted areas and that one to the southeast of Bermuda isn't likely to develop there's a low chance of that happening a 10% chance but is it is likely that when a broad low pressure area in association with this disturbance develops uh, it is going to be absorbing that system there and so now let's go ahead and take a look at what the various models are expecting in terms of uh, development so we'll be looking at the GFS and Euro for that and then uh, we'll be moving on to the the rainfall totals that are uh, possible from the system and so this is a map showing the isobars which are those black squiggly lines and they're lines of equal pressure and so when we see them in a circular manner with the pressure being at least 1030 millibars and that's the value that you see the number that four or three digit number that you see so when that pressure is below 1013 millibars that is when it is considered a low pressure area and when we have those isobars being uh, being very tightly packed that indicates a much stronger system or something a little bit intense and so looking at what the gfs is expecting we're seeing here that uh quite a bit of uh, activity is going to be making its way out into the vicinity of the Atlantic moving to the Bahamas in association with that low pressure area and then eventually the model has a system as a tropical cyclone making landfall in Florida and then making a curve and then moving into Georgia and the Carolinas so this is quite interesting here and uh, there can be many changes in terms of the long term for the system because I mean uh, it's the weather we're talking about and then as for the euro the euro is expecting something a little bit different the model is showing all of that moisture across sections of the eastern caribbean that broad low pressure area developing but eventually we have some uh, tropical development taking place that system crossing over florida and entering the gulf of mexico not becoming anything significant and so here we have something slightly different but one thing that both models agree on is the increased rainfall for the northeastern caribbean and then as i speak about that let's look at the rainfall total that is expected and so uh, the different colors to the right 
right side of your screen indicates the amount of rainfall that is expected in inches. So as we go up from that green shade to the blue, the purple, going to that burgundy shade, uh, that is when we are seeing an increase in the amount of total rainfall that is expected. And this is between now and next Monday. And we're focusing on the Eastern Caribbean, of course. So we see that we're seeing these blue and uh, purple shades across some areas. And so uh, the minimum rainfall associated with that shade of uh, the lightest shade of purple is two inches of rainfall. And so uh, two to maybe around four inches is expected across uh, most of the Leeward Islands and portions of the Virgin Islands as well, uh, based on what the GFS is showing here. And uh, going on to the Euro model, we're seeing where that uh, all that rainfall is expected to be a little bit more widespread in terms of heavier rainfall. And so we're seeing that it is sections of Eastern Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, all the Virgin Islands, uh, the Leeward Islands that are expected to uh, experience the most rainfall from all the activity that is expected across the region. And then as we go ahead and look at the icon model, something a little bit similar to what the Euro is expecting, uh, where the easternmost side of the Dominican Republic and then the Leeward Islands and Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, that are going to be experiencing all of that heavy rainfall as well. And so guys, uh, periods of extensive heavy rainfall can result in flooding. So ensure that you're in a safe location. If you're in somewhere that easily floods whenever it rains, it's the best to get to your nearest shelter shelter or uh, stay with a family for the next few days or so just to ensure that your life is not going to be in any sorts of jeopardy as we progress into the weekend and of course i'll be keeping you updated but just take all the necessary precautions and stay safe and then uh, in terms of something actually developing that is going to be dependent on the favorability of conditions across the region so uh, looking at the sea surface temperature map we're seeing that in the vicinity of the bahamas we see 28 29 celsius still favorable enough to allow for some development to happen but if we have a system making landfall in uh, Florida and then crossing into the northern Gulf of Mexico things get a bit on the cooler side especially just offshore of the Gulf Coast states so uh, that is going to be something that will help to suppress uh, convection because we won't see too much activity when we're having all of these very low temperatures and so the wind shear is also another factor that really helps to influence development because that unfavorable wind shear which is indicated by those red lines is quite dominant right now so when we're seeing all of that it is unlikely that we see any major developments because those upper level winds just help to displace activity and prevent growth and intensification of possible cyclones and so guys that, that is what is on the horizon as we're going to be progressing into the next several days and so again i reiterate that you should all take necessary precautions and stay safe if you're across the northeastern caribbean and you're to be impacted by uh, all of the shower and thunderstorm activity that is developing and so if you have have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be with wise